Hey, what's good? It's your girl T Chanel, and welcome to my channel, boo. Mwah! Yes, your girl has not been in front of the camera for a hot minute, but we are here for a perfume haul, okay? I have designer perfumes, I have niche, I even have Middle Eastern, okay? So we are back on the block of perfume chasing, okay? So if you're interested in seeing what I hauled, what your girl got, stay tuned. Before we begin, we gotta keep it real, okay? Are you subscribed? That button below, does it say subscribe? If it says subscribe, then you are a real one. Thank you so much for riding with your girl. If that button does not say subscribe, if you like fragrance, if you like beauty, if you like just sitting back, relaxing, chilling, having a good time, laughing, all of that, okay? Make sure you hit that button below. Come ride with your girl. Vibe with your girl. Subscribe to your girl, all right? So yes, let's get started with this perfume haul. All right, starting with this crispy bag from Ulta. <laughs> Yeah, so I'm a part of this sisterhood, um, you know, from where I'm at in Florida. And it's a group of young women who, like, you know, go to events together. We have different types of things. If there's a festival or something going on, like, you know, there's usually a few people that are out there you can meet up and just vibe and have a good time. So it's really like a community, I guess you could say. And um, yeah, I do enjoy it. So I've gone to a few of the events and and one of them was a perfume exchange where this Ulta bag was there and I got lucky getting this bag. So yes, let's talk about what is in the bag. To start off, this is YSL uh, Mon Perry and Black Opium. Look, okay, yes, disclosure, all right. It was a $20 minimum for the perfume. So that's why like you're not seeing no big perfumes or nothing like that. Like, you know, these these chicks are not perfume connoisseurs like you and I, okay? Like, so, <laughs> I'm not expecting that. And plus, everybody got a budget, okay? And I think you can get some cute things for $20. So, yes, look at this little black opium. Oh, my God. Poquito. Poquito. <laughs> but, yeah, that's cute. I have a smell. I wonder if this has a sprayer or an atomizer or does it like just pour out Ooh. oh it pours out it doesn't have an atomizer that sucks all right so the notes on eve saint laurent black opium the top is pear pink pepper orange blossom the mid is coffee jasmine um what does that say Biller almond. I don't even know what I wrote here. Licorice. The base is vanilla, patchouli, cashmere wood, and cedar. So from what I remember, I mean, like I said, I haven't I haven't um, smelled this in years. But from what I remember, I'm just dabbing it on here. It's like a coffee vanilla scent. So let's see. It's kind of reminding me of um, the YSL La Parfum. I smell the DNA there. I'm definitely getting jasmine from this. Coffee's in the background, but jasmine is very prevalent to me right now. Vanilla as well. All right, all right. I think for the season, for fall, for fall, this is a good scent. I know it's some people's signature scent. It's been around for years, tried and true. But with it not having like the atomizer, it doesn't have the sprayer. I'm gonna have to like pour it. I may just end up putting it in my lotions and layering it with other perfumes and things like that. But yeah, it smells decent. It smells decent. I don't smell as much coffee, so I guess my nose is changing. This next one here should be the uh, YSL Mon Perry. Okay, Mon Perry, Perry. Wee wee. She's going to need some deodorant. Wee wee, wee wee. For her booty. Aw, this is 
is cute. Look at this little mom fairy. You see this? This is cute. All right, this one probably doesn't have an atomizer. It's just pouring. They could have put a little atomizer on these trial size ones. I don't know why they did not, but let's pour it on this fragrance strip and then let's go ahead and look at the notes. Okay, for YSL Mon Paris, the top, strawberry, mm, raspberry, pear, orange, tangerine, bergamot, cologne. The mid, peony, jasmine, sandbag, Chinese jasmine, datura, orange, blossom, the base. Indonesian patchouli, leaf patchouli, a lot of patchouli, white musk, vanilla, ambroxan, moss, and cedar. Wow. And the last one, did it have moss in? No, it had cedar in the last one as well. Hmm. Oh, wow. Wow, Mont Paris smells good. Once again, I haven't smelled these from YSL in a while, but it smells fresh. It smells flowery. I smell the musk in here. I know it mentioned patchouli, but that maybe that comes through more in the base because from the top, I'm not getting that. I'm getting a bunch of fruits and white floral. This smells nice. Like, I'm gonna have to put maybe we should dab it on skin and see how we feel at the end huh so let's put mom perry i'm gonna put here on top of my hand mm, that smells good it's so fruity on the top beautiful and then black opium we put on this hand i do not want to rub okay let it air out never rub your fragrances together like you know this or this no don't do that do not do that you break up the enzymes and, you know, the DNA of the fragrance definitely changes when you do that. Hmm. I'm liking them both. I am liking them both. Mom Perry is sticking out a little bit more to me. I love, you know, fruity floral fragrances. And that's what this is giving. It really is a beautiful scent. I smell the um, pear. I smell the strawberry, the raspberry. Very, very nice. Mm, black opium on skin is giving me coffee. Cafe is taking me to Starbucks. I don't know if I wanna go to Starbucks right now. <laughs> I am not a coffee drinker, I'm a tea drinker. But even so, like I don't want coffee or tea necessarily in my, in my fragrances. And if it is in my fragrance, it has to be balanced. So let's see, let's just see how they roll. Next. Hmm. Oh, there was something else in this box. It says 008 Late de Coco Parfum and Lou Le Monde Gourmand. It's like a creamy milk. Can you see this? Let me see. See Late de Coco? See that? And it's like a milky consistency. So, yes. And this, <laughs> lo and behold, for the milky consistency, it has an itemizer on it. <laughs> Such is life. Let's look at the notes. The top notes for Le Monde Gourmand Late de Coco. The top is bergamot, the mid is vanilla praline, and the base is creamy coconut. So let's spray this. I did try this one. Like while we were there at the exchange, I did spray this one on, and it was very gourmand to me. Now, mind you, you know, that was in the summertime. Now it's in fall, so now we're in fall, so it may, um, you know, noses are, my nose is changing. The season has changed, well, a little bit. Where I'm at, it's still hot. We still in the 70s, y'all, here in Florida. This is smelling good. Very coconut, very creamy, soft and sweet. It's nice, it's like a creamy coconut milk. That's what it smells like, a creamy coconut milk. So let's spray this on. I'll spray it right here. Ooh, do you see that atomizer? That's nice. Mmm, this is smelling good. It's smelling better than what it did you know, a month or two ago when it was received. Mmm, I like that, okay. Is there bergamot in here? What was, yes, bergamot. 
And that coconut. I'm not really getting praline though, but the bergamot and coconut, for sure. Okay, late the cocoa. Okay, let me find out. <laughs> Okay, next up are our Middle Eastern fragrances. Mm, I have fallen in love with Middle Eastern fragrances. Let me tell you, from when my journey started until now, I've learned so much and I appreciate them. And yes, your girl has three, three new Middle Eastern fragrances. The first one, recommended by none other than Paulina, <laughs> yes. This is Cadillac Nuha. Cadillac Nuha. I have already taken it out the box and sprayed it outside carefully, okay? <laughs> There's one here though that I didn't um, unwrap at all. So we're going to unwrap it together in a little bit. But yes, this is a new hot. Look at the bottle. Isn't the bottle? I want to make sure that you can see that. Do you see how cute the bottle is? Like, I don't know if this is doing it justice, but look at the top. It's like a queen with her crown. And then the bottle is pink and beautiful. You could see like the juice starts here. You see in this part in here it's um the glass and it's just a nice bottle it's a nice bottle all right so the notes on Nuha top apple and coconut which I'm not that big of a fan of apple I like coconut but not that big of a fan of apple mid jasmine heliotrope rose base sandalwood cashmere and vanilla Let's see. I like those notes except for the apple. The apple, you know, sometimes that can throw me off. I don't know what it is about apple and fragrances. It just, I don't know. Sometimes it just doesn't work for me. But let's see. Good atomizer. Mmm. This just smells like straight up strawberry. This smells like strawberry, like, I'm smelling the apple, but this is like a strawberry scent, creamy. Hmm. Coconut is there, but it's fresh. It's fresh strawberry cream. That's what I'm getting from this. Santa, what, I guess it's the cashmere that's making it creamy like that. Vanilla, rose, rose is there. Okay, this is nice. I know people say, oh, it's a dupe for Yara. I actually, there's a local store near me that sells Yara. They had the pink one, they had the white one, and they had the yellow one. And I did smell all of them. I do like the white one. I forgot the name of it. Is it Yara? No, it might be Yara Moy, I believe. I did like that one. I was surprised. Yara Moy is decent. But the pink one, I was like, no, like, this is just not for me. Instead of the pink one, I'd rather have Mora from Latafa. But this is decent. This is nice. This smells better than Yara. This smells better than Yara. It does. It does. So let's spray this. I don't have anything here. Because on skin, it could tell us a whole different story. Mm. It smells really fresh. Like when you first spray it on, it's fresh, it's bright, it's sweet. It has that underlining creaminess. This is nice, like, okay. I knew it was gonna be nice, but like, this is nice, y'all, this is nice. Let's keep going. I guess I went on a catalog binge, y'all, because look, I have another one from catalog called Chiaka. Yes, Shiaka. And the accords are on the back. And not the notes, but the accords are on the back here. So the accords, the top, it says floral, fruity, green. Actually, let me read this along with the notes. So floral, fruity, green for the top, which the top from Fragrantica said bergamot, uh, gardenia, and musk. So that's floral, fruity, green. Then the mid, we have jasmine, pear, and peach which is floral, fruity, woody. Hmm, 
woodiness. Where are we getting the woodiness from? Not sure, but let's keep going. The base is amber and sandalwood. With this base says ambery floral musk. Okay, so a floral, fruity, musk, woody scent with a touch of greenness per the notes, the accords. So let's open it up and let's spray it, y'all and see what the real deal is. Look at this bottle. This is a cute bottle, like, okay, stylish. <laughs> this could actually be like, if it had a string on there, you could put it around and like wear it as like a, a little, a little purse or something, or if not even a purse, actually scratch a purse. It actually reminds me of a flask. Like you're supposed to be. <laughs> Oh my God. All right, so let's go ahead and smell this bad boy. Let's go ahead and smell it. I don't know, Shiaka. I hope I'm saying that right. If not, look, don't be getting on me, okay? Do not be getting on me. Mm, great atomizer. Mm. Hold on. I'm getting the greenness, but I'm not getting a lot of fruit. Floral is there. It's like a floral green woody scent. Am I getting a lot of fruit? Am I getting a lot of amber? No. Let's put this on skin because like right now, I don't know. See the light, light de coco, that's the light changing and it's going very gourmand and it goes to a territory where I'm like, eh, eh. I'm gonna put it on the bottom part here of my arm. Chiaka. Mm. The, the opening is really nice. It's bright, it's fresh, it's green. But I don't know. I don't know. Let's let that one sit. We gotta come back. Let's see how it acts on my skin. That one has to sit. Okay, so the last Middle Eastern fragrance that I have here is none other than Narcotic Flower. Yes, I bit the bullet and I bought this. I heard a lot of people talking about Narcotic Flower. They really, really have. So I saw it on sale on Amazon and I ordered it, y'all. So let's open it. And I just received this, so I didn't even take it out. Like, we literally gonna take off the cellophane and open it right now. This is how it comes in the box. The bottom of my box was bent. Yeah, so it doesn't look too cute. But here's the bottle. I've seen this in quite a few videos. What is behind here? Anything? Nothing. Okay, narcotic flower. Nice bottle. Has a name on it here. The back has Mesa and Alhambra on it. So yeah, this looks nice. Looks cute cute simple let's talk about the notes on narcotic flower all right the top is lychee bergamot and peach the mid is orange blossom and peony and the base is moss and woody notes okay lychee peach bergamot <laughs> this right here Let's see. It should be a hitter. It should be. Keyword on should. <laughs> <laughs> this one I didn't spray out. I just opened it. So let's spray it a few times just to get the beginning out. And then let's spray it here. Hit me a little bit. Ooh, this smells nice. This smells not okay. The... Wow, this smells nice. This smells nice. It's fresh. I'm smelling some of the fruit, the floral. Wow. Bergamot is definitely there. 
peach. Leech is in here, but it's not taking over. Like, you know, in Delina, how the leechy takes over? Like, that's not happening here at all. Hmm, I smell a little bit of the mossiness and the woodiness in the background. I like this scent. Wow. I like the scent. Mmm. I know it has peony as well. Let's spray this on. Let's spray this on because narcotic flower on this strip it smells really, really good. So let's put it. Oh, that's new, huh? Smelling creamy coconut strawberry. Let's put narcotic flower here. I like the atomizer. I like the notes. <laughs> Straight out the box. Smelling good. Wow. Narcotic flower. Okay. Okay, narcotic flower. You didn't come to play. Okay. I'm surprised. I thought it was going to be, well, I knew Mont Paris was going to be nice, but the Nuha, I was like, okay, that one's going to take the lead, but narcotic flower. Wow. That's a really good scent. This is, this could be a signature scent. It could be an everyday scent. It's not offensive. Like, you can go run your errands with this. You can go to work. You can go to church. It's like an everyday perfume. And it really is nice. It's kind of reminding me. Hold on. I'm smelling. When I smell narcotic flower, I'm smelling a little bit of your girl, Mystique Bouquet. Yes, from Afnan. If you haven't checked out my video yet, opening this for the first time, you should check it out. But yes, narcotic flower that peach the peach in here smells very similar to the peach in here like i know this has white peach and i know it doesn't mention white peach in the notes for narcotic flower but it smells like like a lighter peach a lighter peach i should um compare these two i'm gonna put them on the strips and see like you know how they smell next to each other. Maybe we'll make a short about that. Check out my shorts, because I'm gonna do a comparison. All right, next up on the list, we have a beautiful niche fragrance that I am so excited to finally spray. Oh my gosh. From none other than Navitus Parfums. Ooh. <laughs> it is, drum roll. None other than a more infinite. Do you see this? I don't even think it's like doing it justice because it's not focusing. So let's take it out so you can actually see it. Can you see that? A more infinite. The bottle is just absolutely gorgeous. It is just so gorgeous. It is pink, so pretty. Um, the gold top is very nice. Like it's just luxurious. Like. AI's bottles are just luxurious. So Amore Infinite is the number three on the line. I also have number one, Ambrosia Imperial. You will see that I actually have a dent on Ambrosia Imperial. I did do a video about Ambrosia Imperial. Let me tell you, when I first got this scent, I was like, I don't think I could do it. I don't think I could do it. I love you, AI, but I don't think I could, I don't think I could do it. Like, that's how I felt. But it needed some time. Like sometimes fragrances, they just, they need to set a little bit. They need to macerate, right? So I gave it some time. I started to mix it. And let me tell you, this is a very nice fragrance. Great for fall. So spoiler alert, this is on my fall list. So yes, a more infinite. I decided to pick this up based on the notes. Now I am not a gourmand lover. Ambrosia Imperial does have touches of gourmand to it. So it is on that line. And they say the same thing about this, that it's it's a gourmand with the white chocolate, things like that. So let's talk about the notes and let's smell it and see, okay? So the notes, which love the card that comes in the box so you can actually see the notes. No fragrance got needed. <laughs> the notes on um, a more infinite. Top notes, Italian bergamot, red fruits, pomegranate, that's nice, pineapple and grapefruit. Ooh, it should, 
first spray on this, it should be so like fruity, sweet. Heart notes, orange blossom, honeysuckle, rose, and jasmine. Face notes, white chocolate, Madagascan vanilla, heliotrope, driftwood, and sandalwood. Master perfumer, Bertrand Duchafour. Hope I said that right, Bertrand Duchafour. All the notes in here, and you know, like all the notes are not, there's more notes more than likely in here than what's listed because usually perfumers put the, the most relevant notes, the top notes that you smell, but there's probably other notes in here balancing it, so yes. Oh my gosh, I can smell a little bit, not much. Oh, I'm so excited! You know that feeling when you, you know, smelling a perfume for the first time and like how it feels, like you get giddy. <laughs> oh my goodness. Let's see, I'm more if needs. Oh, brand new, brand spanking new, okay? Takes time to load up. Okay, hold on. Wow, I'm getting a, a smokiness from this. Wow, I'm smelling white chocolate y'all i'm smelling chocolate where's the fruit oh my hold on wow Ugh. this is going right to white chocolate and driftwood that's what I'm smelling. And I'm smelling like an incense and a smokiness. The fruits, I want the pomegranate, I want the pineapple, I want the red fruits, I wanna smell that. But it's going straight to chocolate. It's going straight to chocolate. Let's, um, let's spray, I know I have fragrances all over. Where I don't is on the top of my hand, so. Let's put it, I mean my fingers, <laughs> so. Let's put it on my fingers here, y'all. And see. Y'all. Mm. Okay, a little bit of grapefruit. But I'm smelling a bunch of chocolate and I'm smelling like smoke. Like I'm smelling a smokiness and woodiness. Rose, Jasmine. Y'all. I don't know. I don't know if it's Navitus. I don't know if it's, you know, the line of perfumes. Like, I, these are my own. This is my second Navitus um, perfume. I don't own any more. But it's like when first smelling the fragrance, first of all, it's nothing what you expect it to be. And like, you know, some fragrances you can expect it to smell a certain way. Like you can, you, you know what I mean? Like you expect it to smell a certain way. But with these, like you can expect, but you're gonna receive something completely different. And I'm not saying that's a bad thing, but I'm just saying like, with all the fruits, I was expecting it to be a little bit more fruity. Let's see, it's drying down, it's changing a little bit. I don't know, this thing might be a chameleon. It just might be a chameleon. I'm getting a bunch of chocolate. I'm getting that white chocolate, y'all. I'm getting that white chocolate. That freshness in the beginning, bergamot and grapefruit. Then it goes straight to chocolate. It goes straight to white chocolate. It's a nice scent, okay? It's a nice scent, don't get me wrong. However, 
with the all the fruits that are in the top of this the honeysuckle you know the orange blossom like I really wanted more of that in the beginning I did want more of that in the beginning it goes to the chocolate for me it goes to the chocolate and everybody's nose is different Wow we're gonna have to do the same thing we did for um your girl here Ambrosia Imperial I may have to have this new girl sit a little bit a more infinite I may have to have you sit because I'm not getting the fruitiness that I thought I was gonna get from this it's coming from a different angle, which I can respect. So both of these fragrances that I have from AI, they are they are the unexpected. They are the unexpected. They are unique, okay? There's nothing else. Like, I haven't smelled any fragrance that smells like this, and I felt the same way when I smelled her first release. Like, there's nothing like it. However, with that being said, I think I just, it, it needs time. It needs time and I need time. It needs time and I need time because I'm just getting like a chocolate woody fragrance on the strip, a chocolate woody fragrance on my hand. And yeah, I, I want more of the fruit. I, I want to smell the pineapple. I want to smell that pomegranate. So I'm hoping that it'll be a chameleon and change. Let's see. I'm gonna play around with it for a few weeks and let's see how it goes. We shall see. Your girl's gonna follow up, okay? A few minutes later. It's interesting how she creates something that is so complex. Like, it's so interesting that she, like, she doesn't create what you think. It's very, very complex. Like, her fragrances, it's changing, y'all. It's changing. It's starting to smell better and better. Like, I'm not gonna lie. It's starting to smell better and better. That opening, it goes from like a blast of fruit for a second and then goes straight to chocolate and straight to wood. Now the rose is coming out. Wow, I'm starting to like this more and more. I really, really am. So, All right, let's go ahead and rate these. And I did forget that I have something from Skin Potion, a whole set that I did not even open up. So we got to do that next. But I, I want to rank these perfumes. Skin Potion, it's uh, an oil, not a perfume, right? So, so yes. So out of these seven that I picked up, the last one, Definitely is gonna be the Lady de Coco. This one right here. Just so like it did when I spread it the first time. Now again, it like completely changed and it goes to Gourmandville and it doesn't smell like that good to me. Like I want something a little bit sweeter. Like if I were to mix this with Victoria's Secret, uh, Coconut, it's called Coconut Passion. If not, I'll put a, an image of it. If I mix it with that, it would bring it up, bring the sweetness right out of the coconut. But yeah, for me, that's last on the list. Number six, we're gonna give it to Shiaka. Shiaka, I don't know, it's smelling okay to me. It's not riveting, it's not pulling me in. It smells better than Lake de Coco because that one is going downhill for me, but it's just there. I have to try it more, um, probably has to macerate more, but yeah, it's number six for now. All right, number five is Narcotic Flower. I love the way that it opened, but now that it's drying down, I'm smelling something in that narcotic flower like it has to sit it has to macerate I'm sure that smell will go away after you know a few weeks maybe a month or two but I'm smelling something that I don't like from overseas so let's just go ahead and uh, we're gonna have to wait on that one it smells good but there's something underlying in the background which as we know with time and maceration, hopefully that will go away. Coming in at number four, YSL Montpellier. 
beautiful scent. I love how fresh it is. I love how fruity it is. Very, very nice. Am I going to go purchase a bottle tomorrow? No, I'm not. Okay, I'm going to use my dabber that I, I have here and, you know, mix it in with lotions, things like that. But it is a good smell. I do like it. Number three. I'm going to give it number three to Nuha. I'm giving number three to Nuha from Codlage. Nuha smells good. I'm not going to lie. It's reminding me of, um, let me go pull it. Nuha from Codlage reminds me of Haya from Latafa. These two are very, very similar. <laughs> and mind you, look at the color schemes going on here, which are similar as, yeah, as well. The same with Yara, the light pink, strawberry, milky smell. However, in my opinion, Nuha is outdoing this and outdoing Yara. Like, Haya to me, I smell a lot of syntheticness in this fragrance. And I haven't followed up with you yet, but I will be doing that soon because, you know, for this, it's, it's synthetic to me. Like, I just, I just smell the syn syntheticness. Versus Nuha, I'm not getting that. I'm not getting that. Now, I do have to wear new home more i'm gonna have to do combinations see how long you know she lasts projection all of that good stuff but just from sitting here um you know while doing this video it smells good to me like i'm not smelling anything synthetic like i get from haya so with that being said that's my number three all right this last decision is really tough for me because the black opium like it has changed on my skin and it is smelling so good right now. So beautiful. It doesn't smell like a strong coffee. I smell the vanilla. I'm smelling jasmine. I'm smelling white floral. It's just, it's become beautiful. And then on the other hand, you have Niche City with a more infinite. Okay, Rose is now shining with this fragrance. Still have the chocolate, still have the woodiness, but the way that it's blended, right, and the, the mixture of it, you could tell it's niche versus black opium, which is not. So because of that, black opium is gonna be in the number two spot. And uh, number one, I'm going to give it to more Infinite. Aisha, you did your thing, okay? You did your thing. And once again, this is a chameleon. So at the, at the beginning, you saw, like, I wasn't... I'm like, what's going on here, right? But then after time, and I'm sitting here since I sprayed it. Maybe it's been like 15, 20 minutes in between. Yeah, I do like the way that it smells. So... Yes, that is my perfume haul. Let's get into Skin Potion really quick. If you've never seen how Skin Potion comes, okay, fully protected. So I hope everything is all right. A couple of cards. I just read this card here. It says if it's separated, because in the warmer seasons, the products can get separated. It says refrigerated for two to three hours before opening to restore consistency, so. That's interesting. Okay, this is Seven Mile Beach Triple Butter Body Butter. Triple Butter Body Butter. Triple, triple Butter Body Butter. <laughs> so we're gonna smell that. Ah, look y'all, I got a Kama Sutra Crystal. Yes, Kama Sutra Crystal. I wanted the package, it comes with the revitalizing body oil so let's take that out of this grass so you can see that see the body oil with the rose petals in there so beautiful and then Kama Sutra crystal triple butter body butter <laughs> here and then finally Kama Sutra crystal Luminous Body Milk. Ooh. Oh my God. If it's as good as the other products, like this right here, 
is going to be a hit in the shower. So let's go ahead and smell your girl Kama Sutra Crystal and the 7 Mile Beach Body Butter. I don't know. I mean, I have all these perfumes on. But we're going to smell. This is nice, fresh. Okay. Oh, look at the, like, it's, it's hard. <laughs> you see that? It is hard. Oh, some got up on my nail. Okay, so let's put this actually on my leg because I literally have nowhere else to put it right now. This smells good, but I'm smelling shea butter. Like, this is definitely made from shea butter. I can tell. But it's nice. It's fresh. I understand why they named it Seven Mile Beach. Sandy, aquatic. Watery a little bit. There's something in here that smells really, really good. I, I'm gonna look up the notes because there's something. I can't quite put my finger on it, but there's something in here that I really am liking. Kama Sutra Crystal. Actually, let's go with the oil first because I know the oil is strong. Let's put that here. This is, okay, so this is different than Kama Sutra. Kama Sutra is deeper. Kama Sutra smells to me like Delina Exclusive. It has like that incense in there and it's a deeper smell. Rose is still the star of the show, but it's, it's, it's much deeper versus this. It's light, it's lighter. And I'm smelling something that's like very tangy in here. Nope, it's lychee. They're copying the regular Delina. It's lychee. Let's put this here so you can see like the oil and my ashiness. <laughs> because as soon as I put the oil, then I'm glistening. Yeah, this smells different than Delina though. Like. It smells different than Delina. It smells different than uh, Delina La Rose. I do smell like the lychee. Maybe a little bit of rhubarb is in there. But it's not all the way Delina. I can say that. It's not all the way Delina. Which I appreciate. But it's very, very tangy. There's this tangy bitterness that's coming through here. So, so yeah. And it looks like, I mean, I haven't touched it here. I just opened it. But don't it look like somebody dug their finger in there? Or is that just me? I don't know. It's got kind of got something like on the edge there. And looking closely, like even though it looks like that, like it looks like it could have gotten melted. I'm going to assume that it got melted. It got melted in delivery. I do live in South Florida. So it got melted and nobody put their finger in this. In the name of Jesus. <laughs> yeah. It smells the same as the oil, the Kama Sutra Crystal. Very tangy. Very, very tangy. It smells like lychee, rhubarb, rose, baby powder with like Sour Patch Kids with that, like, the Sour Patch. You know the Sour Patch, like, you know, it has the sugar on top, but when you bite it, that thing is sour. It'd be having your mouth, like, ooh, sourness, and then the sweetness comes in with those sugar crystals, and, like, it saves the day, but it's like a Sour Patch lychee rose rhubarb candy. That's what I feel like Kama Sutra Crystal <laughs> is giving. All right, that's it from my perfume haul. You see, we had, you know, quite a few things in this perfume haul that we went through. I am really surprised. Like, Amore Infinite definitely took a turn. 
I love the rosiness that's coming out with it. I'm enjoying that. And then Black Opium, like who would have known that Black Opium would have been one of my favorite perfumes from today. So yes, I am excited to try out these perfumes. A couple of them need to macerate. So we'll see where those go and we'll follow up. If you like anything in this video, make sure to give it a big thumbs up, okay? Also, leave me a comment below. Like, have you hauled anything recently for the fall season? Winter is coming right around the corner. Like, are there any fragrances that you're interested that you're thinking about picking up? Please let me know, all right? I would love to chat with you. And if you're not subscribed, you already know what to do. Come ride with your girl. Vibe with your girl. Subscribe to your girl. Hit that button below. Virtual hugs. I appreciate you so much. And you better never ever forget that you are beautiful. You are one of a kind. There's nobody else in this world like you. And most importantly, you are loved. And if nobody else told you today, don't worry. Your girl T got you. I love you, okay? Mwah! Check out some of my other videos. Bye. Check the mic and make sure it sound right, boys.